Hey guys, this is Eddie Speed, founder of Note School. Well, we have an interesting market condition. Now, we have interesting market conditions, and I want to talk about those today. You know, what I've learned in 40 years of being an entrepreneur is what really happens to us as an entrepreneur is that we reach a situation where we learn that we can solve problems that other people can't solve. When you can solve problems other people can't solve, then you have an entrepreneurial endeavor that is a repeatable process. So, what are the market conditions and why does this matter to you? Well, first of all, if you're involved in real estate at all, I don't need to tell you that real estate, residential real estate is on fire. <laughs> About half of the houses listed this past February that were listed the year before. So 2020, there's amount of houses listed and 2021 February, there's half of those houses listed. What does that mean? Well, we're seeing heights in real estate values like we've never seen before. As the old saying goes, real estate's on fire right now, right? So, what does that mean? Well, if you're a real estate investor and you're trying to buy houses at a discount, that's kind of a problem, right? You're facing an easy to sell market, but a tough to buy market. Your customers are rejecting the price and statistics say the margins in flipping houses is dropped, right? In fact, the statistics draw a line that housing values have dropped drastically along the way. And so if we're in a dropping margin business, then do we add an alternative to our business that says we can do it a little different way? Let's just call plan A buying houses at a discount for cash. If that always works for you or when it works, always do it. But what if your customer insists on a higher price and you can't make that work paying all cash for the property? What if the seller were willing to carry all or part of their equity over time? You could pay today's price, but pay with tomorrow's dollars. Now, once you buy this house, then the opportunity becomes, how do you exit it? Should you keep it or should you sell it? Well, let's talk about the market for people that are wanting to buy a house. You see, if a thousand people could get, have gotten a mortgage January of 2020, only 650 of those people could get a mortgage today. About a third of the mortgage underwriting has been eliminated. In other words, just because you could get a mortgage a year ago doesn't mean you can get a mortgage today. Who have they eliminated? What if I told you maybe somebody with even a 680 or a 700 credit score has been eliminated? The average down payment for a conventional mortgage is right at 20%. So what if you could resell a house to somebody with a 700 credit score and 15 or 20% cash down payment? What kind of payer would that be on your loan when you've resold the property? What does your bank look like now? So if you can buy the property on some creative terms, paying the price the seller wants, but the conditions of how you're paying back the loan are very creative in your favor. And then you can resell it to what we call this penalty box buyer, this buyer that has been left behind by the mortgage credit availability factor. Mortgage Bankers Association has talked about it a lot and a lot of the trade magazines have talked about it a lot. Well, what the mortgage industry has left behind is a perfect candidate for seller financing. If this scenario sounds like a perfect storm, that's how I see it. It's a perfect storm to create financing structure, creative financing strategies, utilizing the seller finance angle, both buying and selling, it could be a terrific addition to real estate investing. Or you may could go work with real estate investors that are throwing a lot of leads in the trash can because the sell, their seller won't take a cash price. All of these are gonna produce opportunities. This is what entrepreneurs do. They solve creative problems that other people don't know how to solve. Take action and it'll be good to you. See you later.
Hey, for those of you guys that are still watching, hey, remember, like this. YouTube loves for you to like what I'm saying, and I love for you to like it too. And subscribe. Now, a lot of people ask us on a regular basis, what do I do? How do I progress? How do I learn more about what Eddie is talking about? Well, right here in the band, here's some information we'd love to share with you. We've got great articles, great stories, great training of all types that show you how to position yourself in the market and position yourself for the market ahead. We'd love to hear from you. Let's, uh, let's take action. Let's go kill this business that's going to be ahead of us because the opportunity is going to be incredible. See you later.